so this was then, this took hundreds of mycologists have been working on this, the pesticide industry has been working on this. No one knew that the presporulating mycelium did the opposite of what the sporulating mycelium did. So this now allows insects to, to be targeted, to be selectively uh, attracted to a locus. Um, we then did extracts and did choice tests, and, and, the, and the termites would selectively go to where our extracts were, even when given three other choices. And then I'm very, very happy to say, the first time in public, after five years and many, many arguments and discussions, on Tuesday, I was rewarded with a new patent. This is a breakthrough patent. It's been called an Alexander Graham Bell patent. It's active against all social insects. Any insect with a queen, 100,000 to 200,000 species. This could totally revamp the pesticide industry. This could totally... <laughs> I... I, I carry the, the, the weight of this intellectual, prop, uh, of this intellectual property. Uh, uh, I, I, I consider it to be an extremely important role. I have uh, really powerful uh, environmental principles that are, that are attached to my patents. I have been engaged with the pesticide industry for the past four years, and I'm bound by confidentiality agreements, but I can ask you this question. Do you really think the pesticide industry that has billion dollar profit wheels coming out of factories that have been paid for, that will tent your house for $5,000 and charge you $1,000 a year annual inspection fees, do you really think they want a green technology where I can get rid of termites and carpenter ants in your house for $1 forever?